Hi everyone, welcome back to the Neo Nails channel. I am Steffi Fernandez and today I'm not going to lie guys. I am going to share a secret. Well, it's not really a secret. I just managed to come up across how to create my favorite, favorite print in 3D. So we're gonna do a crocodile print on a nail. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. It's by far my favorite textured animal print I've ever done. So yeah, let's get cracking. Okie dokie, so I've got a long nail for this design because I want to show you like how gorgeous it looks. And um, I was just sitting at home staring at my makeup bag actually when I said, oh, I wish I could make my nail look like my makeup bag. Uh, <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but my makeup ba bag is like black with, um, it's like PVC black, do you know what I mean? So it's quite shiny and it's got a nice textured crocodile um, all over it, uh, like an effect. So it looks so beautiful and I was like, I want my nail to look like this. Well, I'm going to remove the nail off the, uh, the lamp and I'm just going to work in this beautiful, gorgeous chameleon pigment that we have. I'm going to work it in and cover all of the nail. Uh, for this design. Now you can obviously do this design in so many different colors as well as no colors at all. You'll see, just remember the stages and you can create things that are absolutely stunning. Let me just work it in make sure i cover all of the edges as well and add some color where i think it's missing so i've worked all the pigment in what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna give the nail a file on the edges and then i'm gonna basically um Cap, encapsulate all of the chameleon flakes in our Urban Graffiti Ultra Matte Top Coat. So I'm going to apply a layer of that on the nail. So I've removed this um, off the uh, machine. Now, I'm, I've got a picture on my phone of how the crocodile looks, how my makeup bag looks. Uh, but I'm gonna get uh, Drew over here to like add a picture so you can see what I'm trying to aim for. So the first stage of me trying to recreate um, the crocodile is just creating a ton of squares in very, uh, random sizes but usually it's quite uniform if it makes sense but i don't know how to explain it um so let me go ahead and pick up some of the uh top coat i'm just going to start painting um squares just like that on top of the nail just to get that crocodile effect And be generous as well with the top coat. Okay. And then I'm going to add some more all over the nail. I need a little bit more top coat. And just try and round as well some of the edges so it doesn't look as, you know, square. Does it matter which top coat you use? Are you using? Um, you know what? Mega I gloss? actually wanted. I'm using a normal top coat, but I think it probably will look a bit better with Mega Gloss. It'll probably look slightly more textured because the consistency of the top coat is thicker. So I would suggest to actually do it with Mega Gloss, guys. 
I'm regretting not doing it with Mega. <laughs> I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it all over the nail it's a bit long but it's so worth it guys so what I've got here is a bubble solution that I've just put some you know fair liquid and some water and I'm gonna give it a good shake and get some of the bubble on the top coat to create those little circles that we uh, want to have on the nail so I'm gonna just apply that directly on the nail And then I'm going to pop this into the lamp. Well, I really hope it works. And this is it, guys. Look, I've removed the um, soapy layer off and I've given it a wipe. But what we've done is actually create larger pockets in mats. Um, and then you've got the shiny kind of bubbly outline on top. I think it looks amazing let me just show you another nail that i've done this one looks a lot better that's with one color without the chrome so i don't know if zoom can get a um zoom into this one but see how we've got the matte massive big black pockets here and then all the outlines are just bubbled and it makes the crocodile look so much better i think because there's so much color with the chameleon as well it kind of takes slightly away from the whole pattern do you know what i mean because there's so much like color shifting but um i absolutely love this it's really they look amazing don't they i absolutely love it so you can create those bigger pockets by just drawing the outlines first and then bubbling the only the outlines and it looks insane it looks exactly like my makeup bag to be fair but yeah that really does look absolutely stunning but yeah i'm so proud of this one i'll just sat there thinking about how to recreate my bag and there you have it <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching and as usual um don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all on the next one take care